It's the JBL Party Box Encore to speak at the speed making waves. But you don't want to make too many waves. Well, uh, hello, uh, don't, not too many. Wa why? Because you can't drop it in the sea. You can't drop it in the bath. You can't drop it in the pool. Do you know why? Because, see that? See how I can stick my hand right in, up in it? But it's got a pull. It's got a pull. And I could have had a passive radiator. We've been there many times, the difference between a pull and a passive radiator, they are interchangeable, there are pluses and minuses for all of them, but one obvious minus is if I drop that in the uh, sea in the swimming pool, so fill with water, and I will never have my speaker again. So they've gone with that, they've gone with a party speaker, and clearly something you're gonna love to use outdoors, an outdoor speaker, by the pool, it's a, they say party box, they've gone with a port. It's been making ways because you're talking about it as a JBL Boombox 3 killer. But come on, would JBL be killing their own speaker? So JBL has given us the party box on call, and it could possibly be better value than the £500, $500 JBL Boombox 3, the £300, $300 JBL party box. It's not cheap, but it's a lot cheaper than the JBL Boombox 3. Something to point out, it's got a tweeter, a tweeter. That went a stereo, in it? It's not stereo, not in my world. Stereo would be two woofers, two tweeters. Yes, you've got a bit wider, on the higher end of the vocals, some of the clarity, it's opening up a bit, but that's not stereo. You need, you know, up the bass, bass is, is normally even mixed to mono, but that's, you know, upper bass and upwards, we really want that uh, it to be proper stereo, separate drivers, whether it's a four inch driver or a woofer, woofer, tweeter, tweeter, that's proper stereo. So you, you will argue this is stereo, you can't hear this, that, blah, blah, the other, because you still talk about some of their you know, absolute, actually mono speakers and say, well, it didn't matter if you had two tweeters. That's another argument for another day. We will go there another day. Just point out, in my world, not, not a stereo. For a lot of you, stereo. But hey ho, if you want stereo, what you do is you buy another one. $300, $300, $600, compared to a Boombox 3, one of them, $500, yeah, but it's stereo really. Yeah, but, uh, come on, it's, uh, it's not big ears, but what you can do, you can buy two of them, and you, you press that button, you've got TWS stereo, true wider stereo pairing, that only cost you $100 more, and you've got loads and loads and loads more speaker there. So this is why it's really, really interesting. Have we now basically said goodbye to the JBL Boombox 3? And by the way, while we're here, we've got a USB-A out. You can use that as a power bank, but hang on a sec. Only if you've got five weeks to spare because two volts, five volts, half an amp, half an amp output. This is not for paying, this is not really for a pack. You can use it as a power bank feature, function, feature, blah, blah, blah. But it wouldn't be much good unless you've got loads and loads of time in your hand. But it's really about playing your music off the device. So it supports a WMA, WAV, WMA, MP3, off a USB dongle straight off the device, and so you've got an auxiliary in. Who would have thought that? But hey ho, this don't, it is a karaoke speaker as well as a party box speaker. And by the way, it's a mains lead for charging. We turn it around again. We've got loads and loads of lights. Yes, and we can we can control the lights on the speaker itself, and we can cycle through that. And we've got, do you know what we've got? We've got three bass modes. So no, it, it promises it's all about the bass because they've even not just given you different EQ, they're giving you different bass modes. And here's the thing, that's off. So no bass boost is, is now in operation. You press it once, it goes to deep bass mode. Oh, thank you God, that's what I always wanted, a deep bass mode. But hang ho, deep is deep in some worlds and not in others. But if I press it again, gone punchy bass. So you can see it's in punchy bass because, well, that's the problem, isn't it? Because there's no way you're gonna know that, that light means it's deep bass, and a little bit lighter means it's in punchy bass. So I found that a bit strange. Just to say you've got obviously your Bluetooth, your volume, uh, not your volume, Alan. That's, as the clue was, that's, I think, just turned itself off. That is the power button, volume. We've got a volume rocker. That's coming back on. We've got a play, pause there. And ho, 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 yes. Not just W King T11, which I did, which had carry, okay, feature. We've got karaoke on the JBL Party Box Encore, but I thought then we were dead serious speakers out there. She's not gonna come out with a karaoke. Well, they have, JBL giving us karaoke, not with that. We've got, we can adjust the amount of echo and we can adjust the amount of treble and the amount of bass and the volume of the mic all at the top. So we talk about it being a Party Box 3 killer, but here, here's the first problem, it's at JBL. They are not silly. They know how to protect their speakers. So what they're giving us, they're giving us a 27 kilowatt hour battery 
in a speaker that promises a deep bass, and remember, it's a deep bass that, that pulls on the amp, that takes the power from the battery. More of that means less battery life. 20, so how small, that sounds a lot me now, 27, if I had 27 girlfriends, I'd be in love. But no, 27, the JBL Boombox 3, 70 kilowatt hour battery, 27 kilowatt hour. Can you see almost, what, three times, just under three times. That's something they're doing to protect the sales of the Boombox 3 while giving people who maybe not appreciate, I don't know who, well, this is the party box speaker, obviously it's karaoke, less serious we could say, but it's still under there, a banner, but you're, you're liking. I'm getting almost 100% positive feedback on this speaker, and it's right at 100 watts. Oh, 100 of the watts, and, but is it 136 or 108 on the boom? We don't know, because they're playing fast and loose now with their, with their uh, specs. And as you know, how it's actually been rated into what load, blah, blah, blah. It is good it says RMS. So that's a proper measurement. They normally, if it's not RMS, it, they normally tell you peak, which is just meaningless, really. But 100 watts RMS, that's good. But not telling us how it's tested. And we know they play fast and loose. I, I don't take any of these specs seriously anymore. But one thing that surprised me, they normally give tell you, like Sony, every speaker is 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. Well, we know it isn't. And, and you need to know, the sort of smoothing they're doing all that, and what range, plus or minus what, they are telling us within the range, minus six dB. So that's good. This, this smoothing is normally, uh, was it a third of an octave, I think. Uh, but everyone does it. If that was raw data, that would be amazing, really. But I, but I would doubt it's 50 to 20 kilohertz, but we'll find that in the measurements soon. One thing I have to say is you can do lots of this stuff on the speaker itself, but you can go into the app and get even more of the functionality. This is an overview of the JBL app. JBL Party Box Encore app. We can control all the lights, freestyle, quick links, rock flow cross, and you can scroll along, ripple, flash. I do like the sound of that flash. You've got a white light along the top that's supposed to be like lightning. You can indeed turn that on and off, turn off the lights just on the side, and there are light around the woofer custom color and of course the equalizer but it's a JBL equalizer and there's no free lunch there's no free headroom just know if you max out your bass for instance you're going to start limiting bass earlier than the normal 80 percent and then after that it will start doing things like reducing mids and highs so it sounds more bass heavy but actually it's more or less a signature that you got at lower volumes anyway then the bass modes, of course, you can control this on the speaker itself. You can enable it for deep bass, punchy, or disabled. You do have your DJ sounds. If you want the horn. Ready, 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 ready. So that's a little bit of fun. Of course, the karaoke. Not only does the echo make you sound a little bit better than you would have been anyway, but you can actually increase your bass or decrease your bass indeed and adjust the treble. You can do that again on the speaker itself. If you use the speaker to toggle through the light settings, you can adjust that as well. So it only goes through the settings that you actually want. And you can use this to connect a second party box encore in left, right stereo. What we're going to do now before we get on to the serious stuff is just give you an idea of what it's going to sound like in my my measurements, my frequency response measurements. JBL Party Boost Encore, bass boost disabled, deep bass boost on, punchy bass boost on. For me, JBL Encore, no bass boost, is actually looking a bit bass light, but yeah, it has a little bit of a deep bass peak there around 45 hertz. Deep bass boost definitely has a deep bass boost. Not a lot of upper bass going on. And we actually get less upper bass to keep hold of that deep bass at maximum volume. You can see it does adjust for volume. There's a bigger boost at low volume. The punchy bass is in your face punchy. It's centered around the mid bass and there is no deep bass. It's rolling right off before you hit deep bass. Just for interest, if we take a look at the port, we can see it's tuned to about 45 hertz. And then the woofers and tweeters we see about two kilohertz is the crossover. So those bass modes look very, very different, don't they? As you would expect, what would be the point if they sounded the same? But none of them look 
this is the problem. When they give you all these different modes, they never give you one that's just balls on, do they? They're all a bit over the place just to make them sound quite different to each other. It's a party box speaker. They're not saying this is for audio files, but I know audio files will come on and say, well, I should have done it with some problem, you know, classical and the instruments and blah, blah, blah. My life would not be fulfilled without at least one self declaimed audio file telling me I'm not, my music is shite and I don't know what I'm doing. And do you know what happens when I read those comments? Yes, job done yet again. So, got bass modes. Let's have a listen in the real world. This is the actual tracks played. It's not a frequency response measurement, but relative to each other. Punchy bass mode is massively boosted into the mid bass. Deep bass mode has impressive deep bass at the cost of some upper bass. And yet even while no bass boost, it's kind of something in between, but it isn't really because it's not in between the punchy bass. The punchy bass is so massively boosted. It's still nearer to the deep bass just swapping some upper bass for deep bass. So with bass boost off, it does sound a bit bass light. You may say, well, that sounds more natural. I don't think it sounds natural. I think it's actually a little bit bass light. And I think that's ridiculous for, for a no bass boost mode. I think it's just there because it makes the other sound even more boosted. The deep bass mode sounds quite nicely balanced, but it's at the cost of some upper bass, no free lunches here. If you did nothing else and you scooped out the upper bass, it would make it sound a bit deeper because you're hearing more of that deep bass. So you, but you are getting more deep bass, but it's scooped out. And then, and then it's like, what are we gonna do now? Let's stick all our eggs in one basket. And that punchy, that's not a punchy mode. That's a machine gun to death mode. Uh, let's, let's be honest, that's not a boxing match. That, that, that's, I mean, that would be declared illegal if that was in a fight. The, the, the punchy bass mode is peaking around 90 hertz. That's just edging towards mid bass. It is peaking in, in the uh, no bass, in the bass boost off, in the deep bass mode around 45 hertz because that's where the port is kicking in. I, I like deep bass mode on this. It's kind of a softish sounding bass. We want to know, really, Ow, that tells me absolutely no. You could have had all these other speakers. We know you've got them. And what, what, what do you know I've got? Yes, indeed, I do have the JBL Boombox 3. We've been talking about, well, the better buy is the Boombox 2. Yes, I just think the Boombox 3 is more relevant. Just know, in the real world, the bass is, I know they've got this, oh, a racetrack driver, fast, 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 and it's called a, it's called a subwoofer. It's not a subwoofer. It's a, it's a, another woofer. 
with two smaller woofers up here, along with two uh, Think Me jigs called Tweeters. And the power for power world champion in my world, the Tribit Stormbox Blast, is just very e -tubable. I always play it in custom mode. I'm going to use X-Base mode here because that's a default mode. That's the fair mode. Um, and I'm using default modes. Well, their set modes there. X-Base mode is their deep bass mode, but you, you can tune it uh, more balanced and keep some almost all that deep bass in custom. I do have my custom on my Instagram. Oh, like and subscribe and comment, all that stuff. So, JBL. Uh, so I'm going to use this in deep bass mode because for me, it, for me, deep bass is the most balanced. And yes, I do like that deep bass. Anyway, against these other two speakers, let's have a listen. <laughs> deep bass mode against the boombox 3 actually very very similar in the terms of that deep bass let's say from 70 hertz and down the real differences are the massive peak the boombox 3 has around the 700 hertz mark and then a bit more at the high end boombox 3 versus the encore in deep bass mode and the deep bass mode say 70 hertz and down is very very similar on this track just a bit of an advantage actually to the encore it's the upper bass where the boombox 3 fills in its bass compared to the encore, but then it has that big 700 hertz peak, and that peak is probably the biggest difference you're going to hear between the speakers. And if you find that a bit much and you start lowering the volume, you'll end up with less bass on the boombox 3 than you would on the encore. That's why with the boombox 3, it's really, really relevant how you adjust it in terms of volume to the ear, how you perceive the amount of bass it gives you. Encore Deep Bass versus Tribic Stormbox Blast in its X Bass mode, which is its Deep Bass mode. It does suffer from that 5.5 kHz dip, and it can't match the Deep Bass of the Encore. But it makes up for that with the dollops of upper bass, but the mids and the highs stronger on the Encore. So while being a bit sharp, it makes the blast sound a bit dull. I should say the JBL Boombox 3 and the JBL Encore both are on the sharp side of neutral. I'm saying sharp rather than bright because it comes over as a bit harsh depending on the peaks in the actual track you're playing. But compared to neutral, they are on the harsher, not kind of brighter, but sharper side in terms, terms of how you perceive those highs. Even though actually that a lot of the, the harshness here, if you go loud, it kind of works at low volumes. But you know, 60% and above where we are now, it's, it's starting to push the volume. The 700 hertz still comes over as a bit harsh in the highs, just how, how, how it's been tuned. 
but just know some of that harshness is coming. It is kind of pushed uh, higher up as well. But but I say that because in these quick this thing, in the real world, if you want to test a speaker, you're going to spend days with it. You're going to go all over, through all the familiar tracks you know, and you're going to you're going to get the subtle nuances, the subtle differences between speakers that way. He. When you do ABs, the biggest thing that comes over is, is there a lot of difference in the highs? Is there a lot of difference in the bass? It's not really telling you the subtle differences, but that's why I'm saying in these ABs, it comes off quite badly because it makes it sound dull, especially against sharper sounding speakers. But you've got to remember the price differences here. The Stormbox Blast, 170 quid, 165 dollars, last checked. Five hundred, about third of the price, $500, 500 quid, and we said $300, 300 so, Almost half the price, almost a third of the price. It's a lot cheaper, but it's still it's still up there with them. And I have to tell you, in my world, it's the most ear cubal. But yes, we have issues because it has a 5.5 kilohertz dip. There's nothing you can do about that. Oh, and that's a bit sad. Do you know what? The, the JBL Encore does hold its own with the Boombox 3. Uh, even, even though this, there's a huge differences in the form factor. So this does sound narrower. It isn't stereo. This is stereo, it does sound like, and it's got a completely different form factor. I do prefer this form factor. This is a big chunk. In terms of weight, not a lot in it. 6.7 kilos for the Boombox 3, 6.3, almost the same weight. They have very, very similar bass. And in the real world, how you perceive the differences in bass will be how you adjust the volumes to your ears because they are tuned a little bit differently. But the bass on that is softer. There is more upper bass on the Boombox 3, and it comes over as a bit more defined, I'm not going to say refined, it's not, but it, but they, but in the, but in measurements, in the actual technical specifications, when you tear it all apart, the base is actually very similar, but we know deep base, uh, to get that deep base, they, you have lost out a little bit in the upper base, which is still there in the Boombox 3, to get the same deep base. The, the Truett Swimbook Blast does deep base, but it doesn't go as deep as these two, it's a lot cheaper, in terms of weight for the blast, that's, 5.5 kilos, so it is smaller and it is lighter, but I would say it's more musical, especially when you EQ it, but it's going to come off third best when you just have quick listens between these speakers. It's actually about, in terms of deep bass, it's about five decibels down and that's that's huge. So if you, if it's all about the deep bass, you're going to say goodbye to the the the, the Stormbox Blast. It cannot match the deep bass, but it's smaller and cheaper. So if we're putting that to the side, if it's about having a party speaker, if it is about going outdoors, and by the way, it does make up that deep bass with having more upper bass than the other two. So you know, it, but it's got by but by comparison, it does make it sound more honky. So let's take it down to the to the Moonbox Three and the Encore, which is really where it's it's been in what you guys have been saying. You're saying it's a, it's a, it's a boombox three kilo both, but you know, just don't forget, we're comparing one with one. You could, for almost the same money, get two of these, and then it's going to be game over, really. Or is it? You could argue this is slightly more musical, with slightly better tuning, but then it's harsh depending on what you're going to play. So we're just going to do a head, a head to head now with the JBL, on JBL Party Box Encore, in its deep bass mode versus JBL Boombox three in its only mode, which is deep bass mode. I'm about to pop off. Oh, Fuck you, you're lost. We all know that we never really want a boss. So I'ma do what I want to. Something I can't undo. Yeah, I'ma do what I want to. Something I can't undo. I'm taking six shots, yeah, straight to the face. And I wanna get lost, I'm sick of this place. Don't know how to stop when I'm feeling this way. So I'm taking six shots till I'm feeling okay. 
see the big difference is that 700 hertz peak the track itself does have a 700 hertz peak that's why they both show a 700 hertz peak but it's about three decibels up again on the boombox three that's going to be the biggest difference you may well hear because in terms of deep bass they really, really are the same about 75 hertz and down about the same and what you perceive as that deep bass will be dependent on how you level the track to your ears because they differ in the peak 700 hertz peak we've got on the boombox three and about an 8 kilohertz peak on the Encore in its deep bass mode. Well, in all modes. Now, the interesting thing here is I've played a track and that actually has a peak. I deliberately done this at 700 hertz to so try and demonstrate the problems with that 700 hertz peak. If I, if I write it, yeah, the 700 hertz peak. If you had a dip in the track at that point, it probably would sound quite nice. But if it's about accuracy and there actually is a peak there, and if you're playing back on something neutral and you're sticking your volume up, because these are going loud at these volumes. And that's what I'm talking about. At low volumes, it works to, to give you a bit more clarity. But as you push the, the volumes, it's going to make it sound harsh and, and, and a bit honky. You may or may or not have got that, depending on how you're playing it back. But in my opinion, that's the big difference here, is that it's, it, it's sounding harsher now on that uh, Boombox 3 because it's got a peak exactly where the track had a peak and it don't work. Other than that, it's what we said. It's wider, it's a bit sharper, but they are both sharp sounding speakers. That's got a softer bass because that's got a bit more upper bass, but there isn't much in it. The bass is very, very similar and it is going to be about what tracks you're playing and how you level them normalized to your, your own ears and where your own ears, of course, will hear a bit different, where your own sensitivities in your, in your ears happen to be. So you'd have to say that's good value. But look, it's a completely different form factor. And, and for me, the big issue here is, this is a great pool speaker, isn't it? But it's a great pool speaker that you can't use by the pool unless you, 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 you're prepared to lose it. Somebody's gonna knock it over. That's going in the pool at some time. And unless you, you're gonna perform some sort of life-saving on it, you've got major problems. But not everybody does that. I think that's where it should be. But of course, a lot of you are playing at home and you're loving it. It is. Let's see, so just get, now, get this get this crunched down. It is very, very similar to the Boombox 3 in its bass. And that, that alone is making it a good value, along with the other features that you get. You can play music straight off it, and you've got karaoke, uh, you, you've got different bass modes, you've got different light modes. It's a whole different ball game to the Boombox 3. So the real test is maximum volume. We already know the blast cannot hang with these speakers when it goes to these maximum volumes. So do you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring in the, the W King T11 because in the in the test of the W King T11, not only did I find it works really really well, great fun as a karaoke machine, although that doesn't come with a mic, not in the UK. I didn't get one. Am I being ripped off? I don't know. But it comes into its own at maximum volume. It was doing. It was the winner in its test. A bit muddy for me personally at lower volumes, but for maximum, if these are the volumes you want to play at. This is the speaker to compare it to, and that is what I went and did.
So maximum volume, the big thing that sticks out is again, that peak on the JBL Boombox 3, it's gonna make it sound louder, but it's all about that peak. So yes, louder, but very shrill because of that. So it's the loudest overall, and it's the loudest in terms of peaks. In terms of the deep bass, 65 hertz and down, it's neck and neck between the deep bass mode of the Encore and the Boombox 3. Just a shade more there around that peak, 55 hertz for the Encore, but then it falls away much quicker than the Boombox 3, so you end up with less bass because it's got less mid and upper bass. Probably the two with, well, a, a better balance, let's say. The yellow is the punchy bass mode. And you can see massively more bass overall in terms of the mid and the upper bass compared to the Boombox 3 and the Encore in its deep bass mode. Compared to the orange of the W King T11, we can see there 50 to 60 hertz. The T11 has a bit more deep bass. Yes, it's got less in terms of the upper bass, but then lower mids, it ends up being a bit louder. And indeed, a lot louder here around the three to four kilohertz mark and in terms of the mids as well. So overall, a better balance on the T11. Technically, the T11 is not quite, it's only about 0.3 decibels behind the Boombox 3. A smidgen, again, about one decibel behind in terms of the peak, but maintaining a reasonable balance. So it looks like the T11, I would say, was a winner there. Just to say, the T11 will go louder. It does have so-called outdoor loud volume mode, whatever you want to call it but I call it Screech Fest mode. I played it in its proper deep bass mode, its default mode. You'll cut out the bass and it will go louder and screecher if you really wanted to in its EQ mode. I can't do everything in one video. It's already three years long. But do you know what? Who won that? For me, that's, that's the winner again against two of the great pretenders to the throne. It's done that because it keeps the best balance overall. In terms of overall volume, it's a third of a decibel in terms of luffs behind the Boombox 3. But you're not gonna hear that difference. What you're gonna hear is a difference in the bass. It's two dB up in overall bass. Yes, it can't do the deep bass. At 40 hertz, it's seven decibels down. But everywhere else, it's smashing in the Boombox 3. It's four and a half decibels up in the upper bass, two and a half decibels up in the mid bass. It's just losing out in the deep bass. In terms of the Encore. Uh, so the Encore is hanging with the Boombox 3. It's deep bass. So we did, I did both. I did the loud mode, which is the punchy mode. It's still not beating the default mode on the W King T11 and the deep bass mode. In deep bass mode against the Boombox 3, it's half a decibel up, down in overall bass, but they're about the same as deep bass. Even though they are clearly different drivers, it's almost as though uh, they've been cloned. Very, very similar in deep bass. If you like the bass of the Boombox 3, this will get you close at nearly half the price or at the same, just over that price, two of these. And you don't get that. You don't get that tinny sound on the Boombox 3. But then you could drop that in a pool and you're still laughing. So for me, the winner at maximum volume is actually the T11. Uh, the blast cannot hang at all, just know that, with these speakers when it comes to these sort of volumes. I have done these all on battery mode because here's the clue, I do portable, bat I do portable Bluetooth speakers, but they these will both go a bit louder if you st stick the mains lead. I know every, always you hear, well, if you just stick the mains lead right up its thing, you'll get more bass. No, it's called going louder. Of course, that equals more bass, but the overall balance is exactly uh, the same. Do you know where they're all made all together now? China. 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 They're all made in China. China. We went over China. the price China. differences. Oh, we didn't. And here's the thing. Who's the cheapest here? Oh, is it, oh no. The cheapest on this table is the £162, $200 when I last checked, of the T11. Well, it's cheaper in pounds. Yes, the Stormbox Blast uh, is a bit cheaper in dollars, but let's say about 180 whatever to average them out. It's, it's the best value. If you go loud, I don't like this at lower volumes because it's a bit too muddy. If you're going loud though, and you've got, and if you're doing karaoke and you want to go loud, that, that's, your, that's your boy. The other thing that surprised me is, yes, they're all SBC, we knew that. What, is that. what does that top out at? 328 kilobits uh, per second, but we're only getting 250. Uh, for some reason that's been chopped off on the Encore. You see this every so often. Uh, you, you don't get the full 328, you get into 250 uh, in terms of bit rate. Not that it really matters on these type of speakers, you're not going to hear massive detail anyway. Um, and also, according to my Bluetooth scanner, I don't check on uh, on iPhone, on Apple devices, iOS. 
This is the only one my Bluetooth scanner is actually telling me does support AAC. You tell me, do the others uh, go to walk to AAC on, uh, on, on an Apple or on an iPhone? But that one uh, actually, it actually says it does support AAC. Bluetooth 5.1, the others are all Bluetooth 5.3. All do stereo uh, pairing. That'll only do with one other speaker. In party mode, though, the party the uh, boombox here, which is party boost, would do 100 plus speakers. They've all got mains lead charging, except for the T11, which is a barrel charger. Get the wireless mic. You don't get any mic with, the, with that, with the Encore. No mic with the T11. Well, I didn't. Sometimes you see it advertised with mics. All got an auxiliary input. Can all be used as a power bank. None of them could be used to make phone calls. Hello, Mum. Uh, I mean, you'd have a hernia, wouldn't you, using that for a phone call? Well, you wouldn't actually pick it up, let's be fair. You would just be standing there. It's not a bad functionality, but none of them can be used to make phone calls. Only the Boombox 3 does not have lights. We talked about power ratings. Uh, we talked about the weights. Just to say again, 6.7 kilos for the Boombox 3, 6.3 for the Encore, 5.1 for the T11, which is actually even less than the, the Trivet Soundbox Blast at 5.5 kilos. Only the Boombox uh, 3 is both dustproof and submergible 30 minutes, one meter of water. It's IP, IPX6, uh, so, so splash proof for the T11. It's IPX7, but not dustproof on the blast. Just IPX4 uh, for the Party Box Encore. So those actual drivers. It's a, it's a 133 millimeter woofer, it's two 44.5 millimeter, the specs say tweeters. I mean, that's pretty big, isn't it? More like a full range drive, but anyway, so, for, but it was, as we said, a two kilohertz crossover. So that would fit with the uh, larger tweeters. And it's a port. So the Stormbox Blast is 207 millimeter, two 107 millimeter woofers, two 25 millimeter tweeters, two passive radiators. The Boombox 3 is, well, it's that subwoofer, which is 189 millimeters by 114 millimeters, two passive radiators, two 81 millimeter smaller woofers and two 20 millimeter tweeters. The T11 is two uh, 133 millimeter woofers, two 30 millimeter tweeters and two passive radiators. There's no app for the W King at T11. There are apps for all the other speakers and they come with EQ, but the JBL EQ, some of you love it, some of you don't. That's fine, if you love it, you don't. But for me, it's not It's not an equaliser. It isn't a graphic equaliser. It's an algorithm-driven slider. It's got, you can do the mids, the highs, the lows, and it will balance. It will do, this is why I'm not EQing it. I'm not spending my, my life EQing this when it will do different things at different volumes. You're gonna hit, if you push the bass, you're gonna hit the limit earlier. Whatever you do, you won't get more bass than you would get at about 80% volume. Um, having said that, you do get a bit more on this. Do you know why in deep bass mode? Because they drop, you actually get less upper bass at maximum volume than you will at, uh, 80% volume, and that's the thing, you can't, I can't mess about with that because whatever volume play out, it's gonna sound uh, different. Oh yeah, so uh, this is something, so we said they've all got auxiliary input, you may well be uh, DJing with some of these speakers, and all pretty good, no no lag on the blast, no lag on the T11, just 17 millimeters lag on the Party Box Encore, and the Boombox 3, 25 millimeters, may be an issue, but that's, you know, you wouldn't see that in terms of lip sync, but it may be an issue if you're DJing. In terms of streaming, 66 milliseconds for the Blast, 66 for the T11, 100 for the Moonbox 3, and 100 for the Encore. To me, that's just you, you do you do notice lip sync, but it's not it's not awful, awful, awful. Do you know what? I've come to the end of the video. Uh, oh, oh, I've, I feel like I've been amputated. I've, I'm naked. I'm naked without my nose. And do you know why? I've got, I don't know. I just said like a good light in my head. Uh, anyway, that's that's the end of a video. This is why it's taken me three weeks to get here. Because <laughs> I didn't know if I was coming again and how many speakers I put. Anyway, we did it. We got to the end of it. You wanted the encore. Did you see what I did? I did it. I know I made you wait and all that, but when I've got lots of you telling me this is something to really look at and there's enough of you convincing me of that, do you know what I do? I do look at that speaker. I do that. Do you know why? No, the decay. See how it's, the decay on that, it's gone. Ooh, ooh. But it's a nice slow decay. This is way more tuneful if you're banging on it. This is, be, this is much better for small kids. Dad, thank you. Come and go out, Dad. Can you play with me, Dad? You couldn't do that. Dad, Dad, wouldn't, Dad wouldn't even hear. What about it?
Yeah, that's a deeper, that's a deeper bass. That's more upper bass. I don't know what I'm doing. It's long enough as it is, you can't believe I've actually waffled again for another two minutes. I could have just said goodbye. So I'll do that now. I thank you for watching. Thank you for still being here. If indeed you're coming to this for a second or third time, haven't watched other videos, I know there's quite a significant uh, hardcore. Work. Watch every video and I thank you for doing that. You keep me going. You give me reason to keep going. Um, and I'm not going to mention anywhere else because I've given them way too much time. So thank you for watching, and I'm going to see you again in another video, and that's a promise.